I'm fossil hunting west of Lyme Regis today along the Jurassic coast and I've just spotted down here in amongst iron pyrite in Falls Gold some areas where Falls Gold is prevalent. I can see one of the little ammonites down here in the Falls Gold. There's some of the Falls Gold one of the fossil ammonites preserved in that material. It's heavy, the fool's gold is heavy. It's a good start to the day, some iron pyrite and then the little iron pyrite ammonites. They're always nice to see, a little prize. Fossil hunting for these, saving them from the destruction of the sea as you go along the Jurassic coast at low tide. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct along this stretch of the coastline, west of Lyme Regis in operation. You can see a little fossil I found here, a sea urchin preserved in flint rock. That is a really nice little find to pick up from the low tide beach area. The sea's doing its worst to wear these fossils down. You can see a little freshwater waterfall coming down onto the beach there. There's some quite lovely moss trying to establish itself there on that particular bit of waterfall area. And uh, just ahead of me here, I've established that that on the other side must be a fossil shell. It's a bit light and fragmentary, that rock. Uh, I bet when I put it in the rucksack it'll all fold, so I won't take that back with me. I'll leave that for someone else to see for how long it lasts, I don't know. Here's something that's lasting on the beach area, a lovely bit of Lime Bay Agate. You can see the crystals there of Lime Bay Agate and it's made in the Chert Rock. There's a fossil shell and more of the waterfalls that occur along this stretch of the coastline. You can see moss trying to establish itself there again. That was a beautiful moss waterfall, but it all fell down into the sea and the sea washed it away rapidly. Here is some lovely Lime Bay Agate. Can you spot that little piece I've seen between the rocks? That's another small piece, a piece worth taking to make into some jewellery. And I'll fashion that into some cabochons when I get home at some point, And I'll show you what that turns out like. A piece of crinoid, a small stem that I've just found right down here where the sea is starting to push back in. The tide has started to turn already. And you can see those lovely ledges out there in the distance and golden cap way down there in the distance across the sea. Also too, the freshwater streams flowing across the beach areas as you walk out through this stretch. Our lovely little stone face I've spotted here on the beach, a smiley one, a bit like a smiley emoji I can see ahead of me there, something that will make a good stone face for stone face Sunday when that comes along. And as you walk out along this stretch, I go out on the low tide areas to see the fossil finds that I could possibly make and take. I leave these bigger ones behind as all must do for everyone to see. These are lovely ammonites eroding away, it must be said. Geologically speaking, they'll be taken very quickly. And look at this piece of lovely fossilized wood, agatized and silicified fossil wood I've picked up in a chert block. That should cut through nicely with a diamond saw, so showing a bit of structure and some Torito borings in that fossil wood should come out when I slice that through with a diamond saw. That's petrified wood from the Cretaceous rocks you see along here. Here's more of the ammonites you can spot on the beach. They're just the ones to have a look at. Areatites bucklandi. You can see weathering away on the shoreline, but nice for everyone to come and see.
Ammonites eroding away on the beach. This large one here is Eretites Bucklandi. You can see the impression that it made in this limestone rock. And they are wear away day and night along the Jurassic coast for you to come and see at no tide. Well, I'm really finding quite a lot of fossil shells today on this stretch of the Jurassic coast. And this one is weathering out on the beach, but still looks really quite in good condition. I'll just tug it out to show you on camera and then I'll leave it there, hopefully for someone else to find. It might make them a good doorstop, but uh, it will erode away quite quickly and the sea will roar in this autumn, I should imagine, with the winter gales coming. There's some seabirds, some oyster catchers taking off and heading down along the coast. I'm heading back along the coast, back towards Lyme Regis, and I'll show you a few fascinating fossils on the way. Well, I've sat down beside a really large ammonite called Eretites bucklandi, a very nice specimen. You can see the end chamber there, the hollow chamber where the creature, the ancient marine creature called an ammonite protruded out of. A squid-like creature would have protruded out of that hollow chamber at the end. And there's the chambers it filled with water or gas to give it its buoyancy in the sea. Well, I'm always glad of finding a few little fossil specimens out on the beach at low tide. I found a really nice specimen of ammonite back in the early spring after some big tides. I'm going to show it to you again and how I cracked it out of the rock because I put it on YouTube and it's done very, very well with views. But a lot of people say that the rock was broken already, but you can see how I have to size it up to even start to break it. I'm lucky enough to have found a nice little cobble of the uh, ammonites in this uh, particular limestone rock. You can see here with the uh, nodule, quite a few ground down by the attrition of the sand and sea on the outside. To give the game away there might be something more on the inside so i've got my hickory handled hammer and uh it's quite a hard rock to break through but i'll have a go at this sturdy gloves i recommend as well when breaking this uh right rock a bit of the outside material just fell off give it a crack with the hammer see if i can uh, split the fossil out along the line of weakness which should be the fossil inside that rock Give it a really good crack with this cleave end of the hammer. There we go, that's induced the crack. I'll just put some seawater in through the crack. So when it opens up, this should be a really nice ammonite from the Jurassic, 190 million year old ammonite. The first time it's seen the light of the day in all those millions of years, a nice prehistoric fossil find. I'm pleased with that one, that's a good fossil there, cleaved with this hickory handled hammer.